This video is sponsored by Paperlike. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you 5 of the best animation apps available for the iPad. After watching this video you will know which app is right for you. If you wanna make coloring easy, recording audio for your animations, innovative tools and which ones are not that good. What's up guys, Lucas here, I'm a concept artist and illustrator working for video games and this channel is all about art and art related content so if that's something that you like, consider subscribing. Disclaimer, I am a concept artist, I'm not an animator, I have always loved the look of 2D animation and I have always wanted to learn how to do it. So well, I'm gonna be judging these apps from that perspective, the perspective of somebody that wants to do hand-drawn 2D frame by frame animation. So let's start with the number five and that is Procreate. Now everybody that, that knows my channel knows how much I talk about Procreate. I, I love Procreate especially illustration and painting but the animation tools you know it's something that a lot of people underrate from Procreate. The reason why this is number five is because they are very limited. It's primarily a, a painting software that just happens to make 2D animation. So you're gonna go here to the settings and you can start the animation assist. So once you started you're gonna find this timeline tool in the bottom of your page. I'm gonna simply make a little ball moving from one side to the other of the screen. You can add frames with this. You have now you the ability to scroll through your animation and you can also you know modify your settings here. You can go the amount of frames per second. You have the ability to see your onion skin that helps you draw the, the frames properly so that is one of the essential tools on any animation software and also this onion skin opacity and there you go. Now some of the limitations of Procreate and one of the biggest reasons why this is number five is because getting layers of animation is impossible. For now the only way that you have for example to color your drawings is coming here selecting one of the frames and making a folder. So I'm gonna create another layer, group these two together and now Procreate is gonna consider these two a single frame. I can color this little ball on this frame. So you have all your common tools, all the, the normal tools that you're used to in Procreate and you can see that this last frame is colored. Yeah, it is not the most, uh, how do you say, intuitive or easy way for you to color your drawings but you know, at least works. So this one is number 50 on the list because it's very limited but also it works. Before we go to the next one let me thank Paperlike for sponsoring this video. Paperlike is not a screen protector. It is a tool that makes your iPad feel like you're drawing on a sketchbook. If you're watching this video you probably have your own iPad and an Apple Pencil to go with it but let me tell you if you're drawing on that glass screen of the iPad you're crazy. Drawing with paper like is a whole different experience, okay? You get friction, you get control on your pencil and you reduce those horrible light reflections on your screen. So if you haven't tried it, believe me, go down in the description, click that link and order yourself a paper like. Try it and thank me later. Number four on the list is Animation Desk. An Animation Desk has several iterations of the same software. You have Animation Classic, Animation Desk and Animation Ultimate. But to be honest, um, the simplest is Animation Desk and it gets the job done. So if you're getting into animation, this is gonna work for you. So you have this gallery for your animations. You're gonna come here, you're gonna click on a new, let's say new sequence and it's gonna tell you how do you want to tie it, to name this. It is gonna be a test. What is the background color? Let's put just a beige color. How long do you want your scene to be? The frames, the frames per second and you're gonna start. And you can see that the, uh, the, the UI actually is pretty attractive. I really like the, the way that this, this software looks. Now you have your frames here in the bottom and here on the side you have the layers. So this is, you know, a more proper animation software in, uh, unlike Procreate. So you can go up here and you're gonna select brushes. You have a little selection of tools, a bit limited. Let's select, for example, just a regular pencil. You can select different colors in here. So let's go with black. And you have different things, of course, your eraser, fill, tool. Here you have the size of your brush and the opacity. So pretty much similar to the to the layout of Procreate, which is something that I appreciate because Procreate is the main software that I use for painting. So let's go here in frame one and let's just, I don't know, let's jump, let's make a little figure in here. Let's make a, 
a little body. And here you can see it has onion skin, so you can turn it on and off. You can, of course, scroll to see your animation. There you go, very easy to do, very intuitive. Or you can, of course, give it a play. And it's gonna play your whole sequence, unlike Procreate that only plays your available frames. You can also, for example, come here and create a new layer. Let's create a couple of ears that go here on the back. Next frame, they fly up and then fly even more. And you can see that it plays both layers at the same time. So that is, you know, something, something nice to have in an animation software. Now, there are a couple of reasons why Animation Desk is not higher on the list. I am not able, for example, to see here on the frames, independent frames from the different layers that I have. So, for example, layer one, I see both layers here combined, so I, I cannot move, for example, just the years ahead or behind in the timeline. And the other one is just the limited amount of tools that you have in here. It's not like you need a lot of things to do animation, but I would love to see a little bit more variety. Number three is Clip Studio Paint. A lot of you may already know Clip Studio Paint from how amazing of a software it is for drawing and painting, but it is also an excellent animation software. So how do you do animations in Clip Studio Paint? It's really easy. You're gonna go here, you're gonna go onto File, New, and you're gonna select this last one that is the animation preset, okay? So we're gonna press in here, and we're gonna have this by default. You're gonna have to go here to Window, click on Timeline, there you go, to be able to have this window here. So once you have it, you're gonna be able to create frames. You're gonna click here, and you're gonna create a frame. And now you can see that it works also like in Procreate, it creates new layers for each one of your frames. And just like a normal painting software, that is also something great of Clip Studio Paint that you are able to use the amazing, amazing drawing tools that they come by default with the app. Let's go and create something like, again, like a little ball. And you can see how easy it is to animate in here. If you wanna create another layer, for example, you just need to come up here. You're gonna cr create another folder. And then you come here and you paint like you would be painting normally in Clip Studio Paint. And just like that, you have an animation that has an outline, it has color, and you can even just like that, you know, block the transparency, add shading and add everything that you want. So Clip Studio, amazing software. If you want to really get into animation, this one is gonna be more than enough. So number two on the list is an app that everybody knows and it's called Flip a Clip. And it is maybe the most popular animation app on the iPad right now. I'm not sure. The reason why this one is above Clip Studio Paint, even though this one may be a little bit more limited, is because this one feels like an app done for the iPad. It's super intuitive. On my opinion, it is the most intuitive app out of the whole list. So if you're just, you know, dabbling on animation, this one is great. It's free and it's easy to use. Maybe a little bit similar to Animation Desk, but I prefer this one than Animation Desk. You're gonna see your tools in here. You're gonna be able to select different tools. Let's select the pencil. Here you have the size and here you have the color and opacity of your brush. So you're gonna be able to see to test it. You know, it's not the most amazing tools in, in the world. Tools like Procreate and Clip Studio Paint will have much nicer tools than this one, but it works and it works fantastic. So let's come here and let's just, I don't know, let's let's create a, a drop of water. You have several layers here, unlike in the, the other software. So that is amazing. And there we go. Just like that, you have the simple animation. It works, it's nice, super easy to use, and you can see how intuitive it is. You have also layers. So for example, if you want to, in this layer, start coloring, you're gonna grab a tool. Something else that I love about Flip, Flip a Clip is the ability for you to just record sounds inside of the app. You just come here, click on record from the, from the microphone. And now you can drag, drag this thing and place it whenever, wherever you want in the timeline. So that is, for me, it's amazing. Something like here. <laughs> I love Flip a Clip. I think it is maybe, it's hard to choose, but this one, 
I think it is the best tool if you're just, you know, getting into animation, you want something simple, something that it's easy to, to get your hands into and make animation fast and easy. Now let's go and talk about number one in the list and that one is one that maybe you haven't heard about because it's actually pretty new and that one is Calipec and Calipec Oh my god guys, if you are looking for a tool that makes, does everything for you, a, a professional tool for you to do your animation for school or even professional here on the iPad, Calipec is the tool that you're looking for. I can see definitely the influence of Procreate into this software. Let's create this thing and there you go. This is the your timeline. You're gonna be able to do a bunch of things with gestures and that is, I think that is the highlight of Calipec. How many things you do with your hands so that you don't have to go and move your pencil around the screen. You're always with the hand selecting, sc uh, scrubbing and doing things while your hand that's holding the pencil is worried about a single thing and that is animating so that is amazing let's go and let's just create a, a few frames you can go here select one of the, any of these tools let's select a color really nice color selector also and let's create a simple animation so there you go as you can see Calipec has the same abilities as any of the other apps and way more. You have onion skin that you can customize to any depth that you want, how many frames and how opaque do you want each one of the frames. With three fingers, for example, while you're drawing three fingers, you're gonna scroll up and down to be able to flip through your drawings just like that or you can come here and you're gonna tap with two fingers hold and you will have simple controls in here like copy paste string and you can also scroll with this little button with one single finger so that is amazing this little tool is gonna stay there or you can summon it wherever you want in the screen so that is great uh, something else that you can do is create new layers so you can come here and create a new layer let's say that now we are want to add color to the to the previous drawing be able to drag this thing up here and now you have two of your layers available select let's say all of these guys just like that and now you can grab them and for example duplicate without drawings in here and let's start coloring you can also hold the scrubbing tool and just go to your next frame and paint while you're scrubbing like this Four fingers play the animation. Look at that. Super easy, fast to use, and you can do a ton of other things. For example, let's create a third layer. We're gonna increase the size of this. Let's grab the layer and drag it down. And now you can create a shadow for this ball, and you're gonna be able to hold this frame, for example, for several frames. And just like that, you have an animation with shadow. So Guys, this is the number one in the list for a reason. So Calipec is the tool that I would be using if I am getting into animation seriously. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. Leave me a like if it was useful. And of course, subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.